Hey everyone, welcome to another traveling solo log. This is Solo. So right now I want to show you the Ayub district of Istanbul, Turkey, which is a famous district over here, a lot of history. Right now I'm actually in one of the neighborhoods filming this intro, but let me just show you around this area real quick. So I'm on a hill, you'd see the slope is going up over there. There's a new building there, there's a mosque here. And then down below you could call this a valley. You got kids playing basketball, let me see if I can show you playing basketball in the far distance actually they're playing soccer they were just playing basketball and then look ahead there's all these buildings and it's actually uh on a slope on a hilly area so it's very beautiful and then let me show you here there's bread left out actually so many left out bread for the birds over here which is nice then istanbul they really take care of the animals so i want to emphasize this because i know i said this in a couple of videos already but they really take care of animals and that being said Let's go to the happening area of Ayub Sultan. So let's go. Okay, so this is one of the main roads of Ayub Sultan. So I want to show you this. And we're going towards the mosque, which is pretty famous in this area. Let me just show you, this is a restaurant over here. I just want to show you the prices they have. So you have an idea of like prices in Istanbul, Turkey. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Good. So, yeah, this is the main road, so let's check it out and see what we find. Then you can see over here, there's a perfume shop. And actually, they make imitations of perfume. This is like famous in Istanbul or even around Turkey. We got a chicken shop over here. Making some chicken. So let's go on this road. So it's a Sunday, and there's many things to see. And yeah, let's just enjoy and explore together. So we're going to walk like about like five or seven minutes down the street. And then after that, I'm gonna show you a place where you could feed birds, a mosque over here, and just give you a feel of this area or this district in Istanbul. It's actually pretty famous. If you ever do come to Istanbul, it's well worth it to visit over here. See, there's cats roaming the street over here. Little motorbike over here. So let's see what we find in this area. Mainly this area is like a shopping district and also for food too. You can see like, there's some fruits over here. Six Turkish lira for one kilo of grapes. It's not bad. This is the kind of food this place is serving. So when I go to areas, I wanna show you just, you know, how much are things, just give you a feel for the area. Cause so then if you ever come to Istanbul, Turkey, you know how it is. You see right now they're selling pants for 10 Turkish Liras. That's like a less than $2. Wow. 30 Liras over here. 20 Liras. Interesting. So also something to let you know that in Istanbul, Turkey clothes is very cheap. If you, if you go to the top name brands, It'll still be cheaper, but if you just get like no name brands or even like they have a lot of copy markets and stuff, if, if that's what you're into, I'll take off my glasses because it's getting foggy when I'm talking. Uh, it's something to consider. If you want to go to Istanbul, Turkey, one of the most famous things over here is the clothes because the clothes are very reasonably priced or even like a lot lower than like the US and other countries. Something to consider like, look at these scarves. Only 15 Turkish liras. It's cheap. 15 Turkish Liras is less than two dollars. You can get a scarf over here for less than two dollars. In America, that's not even possible. So actually a lot of foreigners, they actually come to Turkey to do uh, business regarding uh, clothes and shoes. I see Oh, there's that van. So they call the prayer, because it's the third prayer today. So let's just wait for a little bit and then I'm gonna have to cut the camera and then we'll continue. Okay, well the call of prayer is finished, but I just met two little cat friends. Meow! So I'm telling you, so many animals over here. Meow! Looks like this cat wants to play with me, but the other cat is scared of me. So let's carry on. And hit that like button if you like cats too, and subscribe if you haven't already. I gotta go, kitty. Okay. Yeah. Bye, kitty. Take care. So let's continue on this Ayub Sultan district in Istanbul, Turkey. So you see this place, MD Donor? 
they charge, like if you get a sandwich, they charge for uh, how much grams of meat do you want? You can see 10 liras for 55 to 60 grams. And then it just goes upwards. So what's interesting to me in Istanbul or even in Turkey, I've seen there's a lot of places where you can buy sandwiches, but they charge per meat. So depending on like how much meat you get, like how many grams, they go always by grams, is how much the sandwich is gonna be. It's gonna be the same sandwich, but just the charge per gram. So something to know. Today is actually a rainy day, but right now it's just cloudy, which is great. Because if it was raining right now, I probably couldn't record. So let's continue on. Let's see what we find over here. You know over here, it looks like it's all English. Well, it is comparable to English, but uh, a lot of the letters they pronounce differently. Like, for example, C, they pronounce it as like J. So it's pretty interesting. So some of the stuff you could read in English, but the pronunciation will be different in their language, the Turkish language. Mask seller, 15, 15 Turkish liras. Colored masks, 25 liras. You get all the different colors. I wonder how this would look like, like when it's not COVID-19. There'd be a lot. I'm sure there'd be a lot more people here, more foreigners too. But yeah, this is how it looks like. It's simple Turkey in October of 2020. See all these? These are called Turkish delights. All these little sweets over here. Really nice. So they have a lot of sweet shops here in Istanbul, as I told you in the previous videos, and I think there's one just straight ahead I'll show you. So if you do love sweets, oh man, they have baklava, they have everything over here. I just check it out. Check out all these different sweets they have. There's so many different sweets. Eclairs. Not sure, that looks kind of like cheesecake. Some sort of cake. Hello. And then over here they have a lot of like syrupy desserts. Hello. Hello. You can just see the prices for Lukma, which are these balls. 20, which looks like Gulab Juma. Then you can see some other stuff over here. Hello. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I wanna show my friends. Maybe I'll come back later, okay? Thank you. So then they got this one. Yeah, a lot of like syrupy desserts, so it's very delicious. All right, thank you. Cool. So, I'm telling you, like, I've had a lot of desserts here, and I'm actually, I feel like I'm getting, I don't know if you tell from my videos, if I'm getting skinnier or fatter, let me know in the comment section below. But I've been eating a lot of desserts over here because it's too delicious to pass up, you know? How many times I want to be in Turkey? So let's see what else they have over here. Just more food places. Here, let me show you. Let's see there. This is from 1960. So just, uh, nice. So just like bread on meat, which is uh, in Arabic they call it fatayir or iras. It just uh, basically they have uh, just uh, bread and then on top they put either meat or cheese or just what depending on what toppings they want to put. Another donor place. They love donor over here. And they also love this yogurt drink called Iran, which is very delicious. Hello. Hello. Okay. So now we almost made it to the mosque over here, which is one of the highlights of this area. You might be wondering why is this mosque the highlight of this area? Well, one of the reasons is they call this mosque Ayub Sultan Mosque. And if you know Ayub, Ayub is uh, one of the, he's supposed to be one of the prophet's companions. He's be upon him, Prophet Muhammad. And he's the guy that, uh, he actually one time housed the prophet to live with him. So he actually, the prophet, was actually his guest in his house, which is like a very, you know, like honorable thing. Like, can you imagine the prophet came to your house and he's a guest? So that's why uh, they named a mosque after him. He's actually buried in this mosque. So his grave is actually here, his tomb. And uh, so many people like to come over here and visit because of that, which is an honor for me just to be in this area because I love it. And he actually, 
he actually uh, came with other Arabs because uh, Istanbul, as you know, was a city before it was Constantinople, and it was a city that many times was tried to uh, been taken over, and it finally happened by Sultan Mehmed in the 15th century. But before that, there's a few times that also people tried to take take over Istanbul, but it never happened successfully. So that being said that uh, he actually died over here in this area of Istanbul so he wanted to be buried in this area and he's been here ever since so it's been a long time since he's been buried here so I'm going to show you inside of the mosque you see this is like a square area like a little meeting square you see a lot of people are in this area so yeah a lot of birds in the area too actually before we go in the mosque Let's feed some birds. There's a lot of pigeons where you pay like two Turkish liras and you can feed some pigeons. So let's go feed the pigeons. And if you haven't hit that like button yet, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It actually helps. Every time when I get a like, it helps me just uh, more and more people could watch the video. I think the uh, YouTube algorithm helps out the video if you get more likes. So hit, please hit that like button. But check out this area. There's a, bitter, there's a beautiful water fountain in front of me. And then even uh, uh, just after the water fountain, there's like a little like souk or a little market you could call. That's a little bit different than where I was just at. See a lot of people like to take pictures here too. Or take videos like me. This is the mosque looks like. Okay. So this is a pigeon feeding area. It's where you can feed pigeons. You pay like two Turkish liras and you can feed pigeons. I think I do have some coins. I'm sorry. <laughs> So here, let me show you before I take out my coins, let me just show you this area. They have a lot of vendors over here that sells like fruits. You see that watermelon over there? Cotton candy. Hello. Ice cream, and then there's some coffee. Hi. And then here's where you get the bird feed. But let me, let me take out the coins real quick and I'll continue the video. Just need to get the coins. All right, so I got the cup of bird food, which was like uh, one Turkish lira and a half. So this whole cup of bird seeds. So I'm just gonna put some over here. Let's see. Time to feed the birds. Okay. One more time. Actually, there's not so many right now. They're leaving. Looks like. I guess it's like it's almost five o'clock right now. So they probably just ate so much today. So, whatever, at least I tried. Let me give her back the cup. Here you go. Thank you. So, let's continue. Now, let's go inside of the mosque. Little kids love to feed the birds. I see a lot of kids here. Well, I like to feed the kids. I love to feed the birds, too. So it's okay. Adults, adults love to feed the birds as well. So let me here. There's two entrances actually to this mosque. This is a side entrance. Which, eh, whatever. Let's go inside the side entrance. Still beautiful entrance. They say B entrance. Entrance to B. So this is the courtyard of the mosque, and I believe this is the women's area. Excuse me. So this is the women's area. Which, you know, men are not allowed, so I cannot go there. This is one of the minarets of the mosque. Well, I'm surprised how crowded it is on a Sunday. And then this area, if you guys don't know, it's where you make wudu. So if you're Muslim, then before entering the mosque, you should always like make wudu. Or even before praying, you should always make wudu, and you can see. Okay, watch this his arms and stuff over here. So there's a whole uh, there's a whole set of standards like you're supposed to wash your hands, your arms, hair, 
And if you want to just type in like uh, YouTube, like how to make wudu if you're curious. So it's very crowded over here. And right now I'm going to go to the tomb. Wow, there's a long line actually to go to the tomb. You see people are waiting in line to go to the tomb of us, uh, Ayub Sultan. So this whole area is called Ayub Sultan. So people are in line, which I'm going to be in line too, just to show you how the area of his tomb looks like. So let me jump in the line and I'll see you once I get to his tomb. I'm just about to enter the tomb right now. The guy is going to check for the temperature. Okay. Okay. So in order to go inside, you should take off your shoes. So I'm about to take off my shoes right now. Oh, take off my shoes. Go inside. Just for cleanliness. And actually, for Muslims, we're supposed to uh, recite the opening surah of the Quran, which is called the Fatiha. No photo? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is the mosque. This is inside the inner courtyard. And actually some guy, I don't know if you guys noticed on the camera, there's like no recording, no pictures, which kind of annoys me because every time when I like want to record something for you guys, that a lot of times, not even the security, just random people just like don't record this and that, which I, and it just really drives me nuts. If you know what I'm talking about, uh, whatever, you, you probably don't know, but it's really annoying. But anyway, let's continue. This is the inner courtyard. Which, uh, if you can see, this guy uh, looks like he's praying. And right now they're reciting some, uh, some Quran, I believe. Wow, it's really loud with all these people. But check out this area. So right now we're going inside the mosque, the main part where people pray. You gotta take off your shoes too for this. My shoes here. Okay, so this is the mosque area. So actually, uh, I don't want to talk, just out of respect in the area. But, uh, so this is how it is. And now let's go outside of the mosque area. It's a little bit loud right here, but I'm going to show you the other entrance. So we went through the B entrance, we came in through the B entrance. Now this is the A entrance. Or you could say because we're exiting the A exit. Exit A. Show you the main entrance. 
And you can see this, this thing, I know I showed you in other videos, but if this is the first video you're watching of mine, this pillar, they have this uh, in every uh, famous monument in Istanbul, Turkey, which just tells you about the place. And they have it in like usually Arabic, English, and Turkish. See, so this is in Arabic about the place, Turkish, and then in English. So here, it just talks about the Ayub Mosque. So if you want to pause the screen, you can. So yeah, this is basically the Ayub area. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't want to make this video too long. I could continue recording around this area, but it would take me another like 10 or 15 minutes. And if you want to see more of these areas, let me know. Is this length of video good for you or do you want it longer? Because I can make it longer, but I don't know if it's like, if you guys are okay with watching a long video. With that being said, I'm glad to show you around the Ayub district of Istanbul, Turkey. There's many things to do here. There's actually the cable car too, which uh, one of my videos will show you how to ride a cable car in Istanbul, Turkey, which is only a seven minute, eight minute walk from here. So you take a cable car and you go up and you see a beautiful view of this whole area. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed watching this. Please hit that like button. And I know you said this before, but also subscribe. I really appreciate it. It just helps me out a lot. It's a small YouTube channel right now. I want to come bigger and you know, hopefully show you more and more things as my progress happens. So yeah, so I'm just gonna be enjoying this area. I actually have to find something to eat and yeah, so I'll catch you later, peace. And I'll give you one last glimpse of this area. A lot of birds in the sky.